When I discovered oil painting, I realized that was what I was put on this planet to do. So I started reading everything. I mean, I literally devoured probably on average 20 art books a month for the first couple of years. I painted between 40 and 50 paintings a month for the first two years. So I was on fire, but you can only get so much through books. And in those days, there was no YouTube channel. There was no way to, we had Bob Ross, thank God, but Bob Ross did his very specific technique and it didn't really apply to the master techniques that I was wanting to learn. And so I realized that I needed a mentor. I needed to find somebody that actually had done it and I could study with and show me the techniques and what it was all about. And so I put it out in the universe and I heard about this woman, Liz Richardson, who had retired in Dallas. Um, she had studied at the Royal Academy of London. She was a master painter, a master of the palette knife, a master colorist. And I got her number from somebody and I called her up. She was a firecracker. She was in her, she was about 86 when, when we met. And I got on the phone with her and she grilled me. She was tough. I mean, she wasn't just gonna spend her time with anybody. And yeah, <laughs> I get choked up thinking about it. I, uh, I convinced her to, to you know, take me on. I, that I, I really, this was, this was my destiny and, and I wanted to study with her. And so she, she gave me a chance to come in. And uh, later, <laughs> again, you know, I, I get emotional because it was such a gift, but she wound up calling me her boy. <laughs> I was her boy. And, you know, there's, it was such a gift. But the thing that, that Liz taught me, she never became a professional artist. She beca became a professional student of art. And she spent her life studying the masters. She asked the question, what makes the difference between just good art and art that you can sell, and the art that winds up in the universities and in the museums. And she said what she found was that there were these universal principles that all of the masters, now they all have, are born with a gift, but just having the gift isn't enough to get to that level. And so she studied the things that, that allowed them to make great masterworks, the best of the best. And uh, she studied especially Cezanne. I didn't realize till I met Liz how important Paul Cezanne was to the evolution of modern art. I mean, he was a contemporary of the Impressionist. He painted side by side with Monet, Renoir, and uh, Camille Pizarro. But he took what they had started to change in, in art. They, they really started to really rethink everything, but then he took it to a whole nother level. And Liz had spent her life studying Cezanne, and I would say he was the most important master to her. And that's where I really got my education. So in the sense, I did go to university. I studied ceramics and music in college, but that's not where I learned what I do now. I learned that in a true mentorship from Liz. And she painted right up till she died in her mid-90s. So quite an inspiration. Yeah.